Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. I've made you a new pick a card read. This time it's a full Celtic cross tarot love spread. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Now this is a timeless reading. Whenever you get into this video, it's good to watch and apply for you. Just take what resonates, of course, as usual. Um, I've made three readings here. Each one of them has got a deeper dive to it. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, towards the end of these readings, I'll be popping a link for it up there. You can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. And that's where you can also find your timestamps to fast forward to your reading. Now there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. First way is by being a subscriber to my channel. So click that subscribe button, clicking like on this video and leaving a comment. If you do that, then that'll get you an entry in. You do that as many times as you like on my different videos throughout the month. So good luck with winning that. Second way is getting the deeper dive. So the extended readings to these, these pick a card reads will get you an entry into that second draw. So good luck. Now all you need to do is take a pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the Labradorite? Crystal? which is out with the page of wands or would you like the flower and flowers out with the nine of inspiration or would you like the shell and the shell is out with the knight of swords so take a pick now and don't forget to click like as you're watching click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me i make a um, today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show where I give one question readings. Find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there and you can book for one of those um, one question readings uh, for that on my website behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I do all the pre-book readings as one question readings right at the start of the next live show then send you the link to the replay so you don't need to come live if you can't make it. Um, or you can come live and book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. So enjoy your reading, crystal, flower or shell, and I'll see you in there. So if you chose the crystal along with the light seers tarot, then this one's for you. Let's give you a full Celtic cross love spread. Find out what's going on in your love life. Now, as usual, crystals, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with this. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into your reading and find out what this is all about. What's it all about? What's going on in your love life at the moment? Well, it's something new and exciting. Page of Wands. This could be someone who has the hots for you, someone that's attracted to you because ones uh, it's action uh pages are right at the start of something ones are about passion as well so you could be someone could catch your eye someone could be catching your eye at the moment or just caught your eye very much early days uh, i'm right at the start of something with this page a lot of attraction with this but like i said it's early days right at the start so you got somebody new you're about to have somebody new Let's see what's crossing you, what's hindering you in this. Crystals. What's hindering crystals right now? The lovers. Okay. The lovers is an energy, it's quite a light energy. It's like about choosing someone and the lovers can be light. So it could be, what I mean by that is like, you might be thinking, oh, this is just short term. It's a lot of passion there. It's probably just going to be a fling. It's something like that. There's a lightness to it. Is it just going to be that or is it going to be more than that? You could be considering someone for a fling here and not, well, we'll see, not realizing or not entertaining the possibility that this could be long term or the other way around. You could be thinking long term and, and not entertaining the possibility that this just could be a fling. There's something about choices being not heavy but you're trying to make a choice to get what it is that you want and rather than being open to possibilities that's what i'm getting from that so okay how do things appear on the surface of it so how's it looking on the surface we got the two of wands, like the decision is yours. Okay, so you need to make up your mind. It's your choice. So someone could be like, um, you, you know that they like you kind of thing and you are choosing whether to go ahead with it or not. The choice is yours. Are you going to make that move or not or accept their offer or not? It's something like that. What's really behind that? What's really behind your choice? Wow. Queen of Wands, they're really attracted to you. 
and Knight of Swords, they want to start it right now. So they've got a rushing kind of an energy and you, you've got the decision to make. So I think someone has asked you out here. I think that's what it is. Or you are aware that someone's got feelings for you. But this, what's holding you back is this. Is this a short term thing? I'm not sure I really want a short term thing. It's There's a bit of overthinking. I'm getting a lot from this lover's cut. There's a bit of overthinking in this about is it going to be long term or short term? And I'm not open to you know the possibilities of it being either one i want what i want and it's stopping me from going into it that kind of an energy the choice is a burden you know it's like the choice is like i, I want guarantees but so i can't choose but i can't get guarantees and yeah i just need to choose recent past energies seven of pentacles there has been a level of investment into it so you could have been getting to know this person or you could have been like seeing them in different places they could have been seeing you in different places they could have invested in you um somewhat you know to get to know you or you know, something like that so there has been a, some level of investment in this and what's coming in in the near future king of pentacles very stable energy this is them so they're perhaps becoming more stable they could be giving vibes off to you in the near future that they actually are more stable than you thought they were and less of love and more of a long-term possibility they could be showing you a different side of themselves a st more stable side of themselves there's like a homeliness in this king of pentacles right there's a yeah there's a definite stability and a homeliness there a safeness you know so perhaps you were thinking mm, this person is just short-term lover probably i don't know whether i want to get into that and and they're showing you in the near future more of a stable side to themselves could make them appear more attractive to you so this is about the page of wands right at the start of a relationship here right at the start of something an attraction what else is this reading about this reading is also about temperance, biding your time, tempering yourself. So you could have feelings for this person, but be kind of pushing them down, tempering yourself so as not to act on impulse, so as to make a really good decision. I mean, it says that the decision is, is the lover's card, the decision, the choice is kind of holding you back there. But you just could be taking it really seriously with this temperance card and having patience to decide on this person okay so mm, what are your fears then what are your fears <clears throat> the world and the five of wands right so the the five of wands gives off like grass could be greener on the other side there could be someone else coming along who's more more suited to me the world card is like plenty of fish in the sea um energy so yeah you might be just worried about locking this one in because you might not feel like they are everything like the world to you mm. five of wands is a feeling like i could reach higher than this I, I i should perhaps be expecting more than this so there just might be aspects about this person especially with a lack of stability just page energy at the start you might not think that it's it could be a long-term thing yeah and a need to reach higher to expect more than that okay and what are your hopes what are your hopes justice for your match your true love match and for balance okay well let's get your outcome cards out so i'm going to reveal the first outcome card in this reading and the rest of them, because I'm going to get a full progression out so that we know the full outcome. The rest of them I'll be revealing in that deeper dive read, that extended reading that goes with this. In that extended reading. I'll also be getting cards out from all of these decks back here to give you guidance. To tap into your person's energy. Let's get some details about them, perhaps to put your mind at rest. It's not those. Um, okay. I'm, I'm actually going to show you the first two cards because they both fall, both fall out together. The first two cards in this reading. I don't usually do that, but um, they both came out together and I can't, they go together. It's like I can't read one without the other. 
anyway it'll be it'll make sense very shortly let's get the rest of your outcome cards out for the deeper dive read before we go on and what next after that please wow is that it was that one okay it's all a bit of a mess but I know what I'm doing it was that and then 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 that <laughs> okay you've got a lot of cards out here so first two cards and then another six more for your outcome so it's it's complicated <laughs> The way forward is complicated. Well, let's explain it to you. You're starting out with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So the slowness of this is actually breaking your heart. The slowness, and I, and I feel like it's you that's dictating the pace of this because they want to go fast. Um, you're making it too slow and it's actually bothering you, the slowness of this. So this is getting to the point, this is when we get to the point where it's like, I'm starting to annoy myself now because I'm I'm slowing things down too much. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of a feeling. So it feels like shortly you're going to be annoying yourself for being too slow with all of this, not acting on it. And then all of these cards. And then all of these. So if you want to find out what those are and you want all the rest of it, then you might want to get that deeper dive or even more. I'll be getting message cards out from your person as well and see what they've got to say for themselves. And so if you're interested in that, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you will not receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk or your promotions folder. Do check in those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the crystal on a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click the subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive read as well, I'll get you an ent entered into that second draw too. So two chances to win. But if this is where you're leaving me, then good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly. If you chose the flower along with the muse tarot, then this one's for you. Let's give you a full Celtic cross tarot spread for your love life and see what's going on. Now, as usual, flowers. There's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, you want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. So toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into your reading, see what this is all about. What's it all about? It's about the six of voices. It's about getting from A to B, getting out of choppy waters into calmer waters. If you are having a struggle with someone at the moment, or indeed with yourself, then this is about getting to a much smoother place. If you're having conflict or arguments or anything like that, this is about the resolution of that. I'm getting, or it could even actually be if you are in, in conflict about being single at the moment, this is about getting you um, into a relationship. It's getting you from A to B, from where, where you are at the moment and the aspect of it that you don't like is getting you to where you want to be. So this one is for those of you flowers who want change in your love life at the moment. And this reading is all about that. So what's hindering you in this? What's holding you back? What's hindering you? That's too many. A lot, there's a lot hindering you now. Let's get just one or two cards out, please. The Muse of Inspiration, that's the King of Wands very passionate energy and the five of materials you're pushing them away you're saying no so there's someone that has the hearts for you there's someone king of wands energy they can sometimes appear like a player but they've got strong energy and there could be like a lot of attraction between you at least from them they're really attracted to you uh, but yeah there's the, this no there's this no i'd rather be alone kind of thing so this is hindering your energy you're pushing someone away where there is um some attraction between you uh, but for some reason you're saying no to that 
So we're talking about perhaps moving this forward instead of pushing it away. Let's see. How do things appear on the surface? Surface level of a flower's love line. What appears to be going on? How do things appear on the surface? The nine of inspiration, like you've done your healing work now and you're ready to move forward. So it appears like you're ready for a relationship. You've done your healing now. What's really behind that? What's really behind that though? Okay, a lot. Eight of voices, there's a feeling like you're trapped or you're stuck in the same pattern over and over again. There's a love offer coming in, a love match, and there's investment being made. The five of emotions, but it's hard to open your heart up. Okay, so it appears like you've finished healing and you're ready to move forward, but you're still stuck in a trap when it comes to a love, a love match. Heart still being closed. It's due to something like eight of materials, work that you've put in. You might be expecting more now more from yourself and more now and it has your heart closed down um okay if you've been doing a lot of healing work on yourself you could have a love match coming in but you could be overthinking things now or something's keeping your heart closed and it's got something to do with the in, invest investing like the work that you've been doing is it paying off and you're stuck in that anyway i hope that makes sense to you in your particular situation so it appears like you've healed and you're ready to move forward but there still is some sticking point there's something that's kind of stopping you what would you say no to this one right okay so recent past energy what has been going on for you flowers it's kind of cryptic this one Ton of inspiration, you've been putting burdens down. So you guys, you've been doing a lot of healing work, deburdening yourself. So, so you've been letting go of the parts of you that would take on too many burdens in a relationship. So perhaps you were an over giver or, you know, you were the one that would just be like committing straight away to someone and they didn't need to give, do that much for you, um, for you to do that. So you've been deburdening yourself like that, unwilling to take burdens on anymore. And near future energy you got the hang muse you're going to be changing your mind so there is going to be a shift in your energy coming up let's find out what that is changing your mind about what it's perhaps seeing things from a different perspective yeah about that person about the person i think it's the muse of inspiration ten of materials it could be a long-term investment six of materials because they can reciprocate so you're going to change your mind about this person that's what's coming in in the future I don't know whether they'll do something to change your mind or whether you will open up your energy and you get to see another side of them, but that you will be changing your mind about them. I think this muse of inspiration or someone new. Oh, this love match here. You've got a love match here, but it's this reading is saying you're very much like keeping them away from you. Okay, so it's about the six of voices. It's about getting you from where you are to where you want to be. Oh, <laughs> so many cards coming out for you guys what else is this reading about ace of inspiration it's about you having an aha so that you can move forward so you can start things off and it's an aha about yourself i don't think it's an aha about your person I, I think perhaps they are in just whatever energy that they're in and i think it's an aha about yourself with respect to that what are your fears oh, there's too many again what are your fears I'm good with like three or four or whatever, but not when there's like six, seven, it's too many. Fears are the lovers. So are you fearing it just being a short term thing, a fling and the ten of emotions, fearing the happily ever after. Now, isn't this interesting? What if they, what if they make your heart happy? What if they fulfill your relationship needs? There's a fear that you've got here of actually getting involved with this person. It being short term or it being long term. It's just you're fearful of it. You're fearful of this whole thing, this whole relationship thing. Either way, if it's long term, 
afraid of it. If it's short term, I'm afraid of it. This feels like commitment issues and perhaps you haven't seen it that way. I mean, I think when we're doing the healing work, we do have commitment issues because we have boundaries up when we're doing our healing work, right? Quite rightly. And perhaps we come out of healing work with boundary issues. And then we have to drop those boundaries, you know, commitment issues, I mean, not boundary issues. Um, okay, what are your hopes? Ace of Voices. It's for that aha, for that wisdom, for the, for the insight is what it is. You're hoping for insight. Yeah, you've got an exciting new start here possible with this person. What are you hoping for? The devil. Interesting. Again, it's like the opposite. It's, it's hoping for insight, but also hoping to see like negative information about this person so that you can feel justified in pushing them away. You don't really want to see negative information about this person. You don't want that confirmation that they're not right for you, really. What you're looking for is confirmation for someone being right for you. But there's a lot of fears coming up in this in this um, reading, even in your hopes kind of thing, you know. It's almost like you want to be proved right that they're wrong for you, this person. Let's get your outcome cards out. So I'm going to get a progression of outcome cards out and I'm going to be revealing the first one to you in this reading. But the rest of them, I am going to be revealing in the deeper dive reading, that extended reading. You've got a very interesting card out for the first card. So what after that? What next for flowers, please? In that deeper dive read, in that extended reading, I'll also be getting cards out for the decks back there as well on my shelves to give you guidance. And let's get into your person's energy and be really nosy about them too. Let's see if we can give you some clarity about them so that we know what their energy is. Also I'll be getting a timing card out if that's relevant or a few of them out. Wow, okay. And then what? Oh, oh, okay. And then, and then what? Oh, wow, okay, I like that. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got seven outcome cards here. The first one being the seven of voices. The seven of voices, is the card of deception. Now, I think this is self-deception that we're talking about here. I want to get some cards out just to clarify it. What is the deception about? So the outcome is deception. Tell us what this deception is about. Transformation and expansion. Okay. It's about how you're seeing yourself. So transformation and expansion, you know, this is the most important card in this reading, the nine of inspiration here and the six of voices too, because it's about the universe helping you out to get from choppy waters, a place where you don't really want to be to a place that you want to be. And it appears like you are healed and you're ready to go. But there's some self delusion here about that process. Are you really healed and ready? Expansion and transformation. Have you really transformed? and ready for like much, much more. Expansion is ready for much, much more. When we heal ourselves, when we stop in some kind of pursuit in our lives to heal ourselves, we, it's when we realize like we're not getting what it is that we want in our life, right? And so it's like with relationships, it's like, okay, I won't have relationships, I'll heal myself and I'll sort myself out because I've noticed that I'm picking the wrong people or I'm in these you know, negative patterns or whatever it is. We pull back from it and then once we've dealt with those things in that inner world, we can think, okay, I'm healed and I'm ready to go. But this is saying like, but you're fooling yourself. You're not really ready to go because you're not ready for much, much more. Um, it's like a, um, a, it's like finishing school, right? If you learn something in school, you've got all the book smarts and everything, and you might think you're ready to go into a job and be, and, and not be a beginner, be be ready for much, much more, right? You know, you know, go and be a CEO of a company or something like that. And that's not what happens, right? What happens is you go and you start off in a place as, as someone 
like that hasn't been to school you need to start from the beginning and then learn other things about that job even though you've got education still when you're starting out a new job you'll start down there and then learn your your, your learning curve will probably be quite steep but you still need to like learn the basics you know like you're a beginner and i think that's what you've got here it, what it's saying here is that you can't be high flight i mean you can't go from just being in school and healing yourself to being in this like incredible relationship there's no leaps there what you've got to do is like do your schoolwork which you've done you've done that healing work and you're ready but you're ready to be a beginner in relationships again and then and it's like you're a teenager getting into relationships as a healed self now and so you need to allow yourself to get into relationships to learn you've got to allow yourself to be a beginner a beginner again in relationships that's what this is saying so and then you've got all of these cards out after that <laughs> so if you're interested in finding out what they are and the progression of this and even more guidance you might want to get that deeper dive for even more if you do i'll pop a link for it up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong you will not receive it now the email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junk or your promotions folder do check those places in that email you will see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on the flower on a device that you can open pdfs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video and when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month as we'll get in that deeper dive read as well uh, that will get you an entry into the other prize drawer as well so good luck with those but if this is where you're leaving me good luck with all of this if you're coming with me to that deeper dive or even more then i'll see you in there very shortly if you chose the shell and this one's for you shells let's give you a full celtic cross tarot spread for your love life with the tarot of mystical moments see what's going on in your love life now as usual Shells, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with this. If you find that it is your story, it could be a story, want it to be a story. You might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, you'll be popping a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So your cards are flying out already. Let's have a look at what they are. What is this reading all about for our lovely shells? We've got the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. This is about someone making a move towards you, a swift move towards you. Well, they want to anyway. Queen of Wands, because they're so attracted to you. You've got very attractive energy right now. Knight of Wands. Someone on a mission, someone on a mission to get you, to come your way, because they're so attracted to you. This could be um, for you single shells. It could be a secret admirer kind of an energy. What's crossing you? What's hindering you? What's hindering you? The Seven of Pentacles, investment. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles, it it might be that you're waiting on someone making an investment. So what I mean by that is someone that like comes with good intentions, someone that you know asks you out on a date, someone that actually brings something to the table. So you might be aware that this person likes you, but you're just kind of waiting for them to ask you out, but wait, waiting for them to actually invest, put some skin in the game, for them to message you or to come toward you and actually, you know, do the asking. So you could be very much, you know, in the, well, um, I'm waiting for them to respond. If this person has already asked you out, even if you're dating someone and it's early days, then seven of pentacles you could be waiting for more input from them for them to yeah make more of an effort um like i'm not particularly getting that this person is not making an effort i'm just getting this perhaps you're hyper vigilant about that of like making sure that you're in a balanced relationship this time and you want investment from them before you'll invest more so this is a kind of feeling where you might be you're attracted to them but you will not make the first move you want them to make the first move to make sure that they're going to actually invest in this so how do things appear on the surface of it all? The Ten of Cups, this could be your happily ever after. So you could really see yourself being with this person, but they do need to do something. They do need to make an investment. But this could be a happily ever after. What's really behind that is Page of Wands. 
Page of Wands is the start of something passionate. So it could be a happily ever after, but it's the start of something passionate. And I would, I would say that it's more like this is something to pursue and see where it goes. There's passion there. There's obviously some movement um, that needs to happen, but there'll be an uncovering of like, getting to know someone and seeing if they are right for you and seeing if you're good in relationship with each other so recent past energy with this person you've got justice so balance there seems to be balance between you balance kind of an energy so they could be kind of good on paper for you that kind of thing or balance kind of an energy in some kind of a way mm. okay and the energy that's coming in Near future energy. I don't know whether it's that. <laughs> I'm not getting a clear answer. Well, let's take them both. Eight of Swords. Feeling kind of restricted, locked in a pattern, unable to escape from it. Three of Wands, a pattern of waiting. Okay, so you're playing the waiting game with this. It seems like a standoff that we've got here. You want them to approach you in a certain kind of a way. You want them to invest something in, like something specific in you. And you're kind of stuck in this pattern of waiting. It's like a holding pattern, you know, when you get, when you arrive at the airport kind of thing, but you, we, we don't go down until there's, um, for landing until the, you know, they've got the go ahead from the control tower or whatever it is. And, and so you get in this holding pattern and I feel like you're in a holding pattern at the moment. And that's what this reading is about. Mm. So you're stuck in this holding pattern waiting. What, what's this reading also about? They want to make a move. Two of wands, the decision is yours. Two of wands. So you're in this holding pattern, but really you're not making a decision of action to take. And this is saying they want to come your way, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, very attracted to you. And the decision is yours, so you need to make a decision. So instead of waiting for them to do something else to kind of prove it to you, you need to make a decision, yes or no. In other words, this isn't about I will make my decision on them once they do that thing. This is saying you need to make a decision now. Like, okay, want, I'm, I'm, I'm saying yes to this person and just waiting for them to do that thing. That's different, right? There's like um, a, a pre-choice being made here. You're not keeping your options open of like, well, once they do that thing, we'll see if it's good enough for me and then I'll make my decision. This is saying come into a decision like if they do make a move toward me I will say yes it's the certainty you know it reminds me of this energy I had ages ago when I was ready for a relationship and someone had caught my eye and I kept on seeing them all over the place and one day I just decided to go to this cafe where I knew it was going to be there and he showed up and I, I said to myself right I'm just going to stay here until he asked me out because I was it was a yes from me I wanted to be with him right um, but I, I needed him to make that investment first, and he did. We sat there for hours <laughs> until he did, but he did, you know. Um, but I was already determined, you see, for it to be a yes, and, and he kind of picked up on that energy, and he did pick up on that energy. He said, I knew that I needed to ask you out. I knew it was me that had to make that move. So he had totally tapped into that energy. But here's the thing. There'd been a week before that where we'd just kind of been skirting around each other. I'd never got myself to the point until that day of being certain, like, I want to go out with this guy, come toward me, ask me out, ask me out. That's how I was inside, ask me out, ask me out, ask me out. And he responded to that. So that's what I'm getting from this is like the choice is yours. If you make that clear choice and then just be like, ask me out, ask me out in your energy, it's going to happen. Okay. Um, what are your fears then? Your fears. So what this reading is saying is like, you've got someone interested here, but you haven't made a decision on them yet. And if you make that decision, then they're going to come to, toward you with that, the, the investment that it is that you want. But they're not going to invest until they've got the go ahead from you. Once you change it in your energy that you're a yes, that's when they'll do that, you know. So you, you're fearful of, like, this being a long-term thing, Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. 
and the nine of swords the anxiety so yeah anxiety you know um makes us fearful right it's difficult especially when we've had trouble in pasts the anxiety can be a lot at the start of a relationship especially when ten of pentacles ten of cups you got the two happily ever after cards here and so there's a lot riding on this you know this could be your happily ever after even more anxiety when it's, that's the case you know and it's not just a lover's kind of thing what are you hoping for the emperor divine masculine energy want them to be a divine masculine twin flame also wanting them to step up and take the lead as well so that you don't need to you know so you don't need to be that masculine energy and temperance patience you're hoping for patience with this one patience in you you know okay let's get your outcome cards out well i'm going to get a progression of outcome cards out for you the first one i'll be revealing in this but well, the first two i'll be revealing in this in the in this reading and the rest i'll be getting out with a deeper dive usually re reveal the first one but two cards just flew out then exactly the same time so i need to take them together and reveal them to you together but the rest of them i'll be revealing in that deeper dive read that extended reading along with cards from these decks back here to give you some guidance and advice um we'll get into your the energy of your person as well see what they're all about and yeah see what's going on inside of them we'll get some um message cards out from them as well see what they've got to say for themselves and we'll get timing cards out too and anything else that pops up along the way one two three six now one more please one more and then what okay okay so seven outcome cards here mm. starting out with these two you've got the four of swords and the three of pentacles right so the four of swords is the card of healing it's rest and relaxation and healing the three of pentacles is about teamwork makes the dream work so there's something here about you not taking all of this on your shoulders energetically sure you need to make a decision but you don't need to take all of this on energetically the three of pentacles is about collaborations so if you can put some of the energetic responsibility onto your person that will help you out and just rest up don't be don't i know it's easier said than done don't be anxious about this um yeah rest up allow yourself to relax about this more and let them take their share of the energetic load of getting into this in other words don't try so hard energetically though i know you're not trying hard in person because you want them to invest but don't don't energetically take the load either mm. okay well that's your outcome is you're kind of doing that first getting more chill about this whole thing and um, yeah perhaps making a decision and then you've got these cards if you want to find out what they are and you want all of the rest of it then you might want to get that deeper dive read for even more if you do i'll pop a link for up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong you won't receive it now the email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junk or your promotions folder do check those places in that email you will see a link to the crystal of flower and the shell click on the shell on a device that you can open pdfs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video and when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month and so good luck with winning that as we'll get in that deeper dive read as well that'll get you an entry into the second draw so two chances from this video to win and so there you go if this is where you're leaving me though good luck with all of this if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read for even more guidance then i will see you in there very shortly